Contract and release. Quick tips for the dance minister. Today's tip, an outward sign of an inward change. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 is one of my favorite scriptures. Here's a portion of it. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you and you are not your own? The body is the physical part of a human distinct from the spiritual. The body is also referred to as the Church of Jesus Christ. All believers are members of the body. Together, we work. One body with many different parts. A temple is a house or a dwelling place of God. It's that thing which has been erected and set apart for worship. Remember that King Solomon built a temple specifically for the Lord. And he said that he created it to be a wonder to the whole world. In preparing our body temples for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, there is a revelation that the sacred dancer must grasp. And that is, our bodies and what we do with them are designed to be a wonder to the world. That's right. And if our bodies are designed to be a wonder, that means that our bodies are living miracles. Now, I love that because the human body is a miraculous, resilient work of art. It was designed by God to be an extraordinary happening (laughs) of all the things that God created. Our bodies are his prized possession. Listen, it is the most intricately made and finely tuned instrument ever known to man. If we are to assume, dancers, our positioning in the kingdom, we must embrace the reality that we are indeed called to use our bodies in sacred artistry for the good. And what is that good? Healing, salvation, prophetic revelation, and to bring joy to the world. But none of this can be realized until the dancer understands the necessity and the preparation required for this indwelling. The Holy Spirit's ability to step in and indwell in the sacred dancer depends on two factors. Number one, brain, R-E-I-G-N. And number two, occupancy. The reign speaks to authority and the occupancy speaks to access. See, the Holy Spirit is not just going to come in and stay in one designated area of your temple. The Holy Spirit will not be a caged bird held captive in your physical tabernacle. Nope. He wants to occupy the entire temple. He wants to occupy our entire personality. And when that happens, that means that the inward change begins to manifest on the outside. What's manifesting on the outside? Sacred, anointed, liturgical dance ministry that shifts the atmosphere. Dancers, we don't just dance for God. We dance with God.